Good morning, Squatty. What's for breakfast? Better be something good. All they serve in the battlefield are shrapnel sandwiches without any bread. <laughs> What's all the hullabaloo? A little early for a party. Oh, good morning, Stanley. It's an arm wrestling contest. Seems like they're having fun. Well, it can't be all that fun. They didn't invite me. What's new, buckaroo? Things are really heating up here. Wonder who threw this shindig together. Morning, Stanley. God damn it, I lost again. What's your win streak now? Eh, I don't know. Lost count after the first hundred or so. Howdy, Gene. I assume you're the brains and the brawn behind this party? Stanley, you son of a bitch. You my next challenger? Well, I'm here, so I may as well be. No need to hold back now. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away, huh? Karen, you got any open beds in the sick bay? This is probably gonna end in a broken arm. Right now it's standing room only, I'm afraid. No worries, mean G machine. I ain't gonna break your arm. You're a funny guy, Stanley. I like you. And that's why I'm gonna kill you last. I thought this was arm wrestling, not armed wrestling. If it's a shootout you want, you best bring extra ammo. Cause I may run out of bullets, but I'll never run out of zingers. Boosh! <laughs> Good one, funny man. <laughs> Someone actually gets my spoofs and goose. You're all right in my book. <laughs> Looks like they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> Birds of a feather joke together, or something. Cracking wise to save lives. That's the Barclay way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone doesn't have a smile on their face. Or a face at all. Hey there, Care Bear. Who's that girl in the iron mask? You mean Ferrier? Yeah, her. She needs to turn that unseen frown upside down. This looks like a job for Funny Man Stan. Hey there, fairy air. Got a sick? I have a joke for you. Hmm? My buddy John and I were on a camping trip when a grizzly bear started chasing us. But the bear was way faster than us. So I said to John, I don't gotta outrun the bear. I just gotta outrun you. And now he's dead. <laughs> oh, real knee slapper, right? <clears throat> Where are you headed, fairy air? Time to feed your pet rock or something? It's Ferrier, and I have gun maintenance to do. Who put a bee in her bonnet? Sounds like someone had a bowl of bullets for breakfast, without any milk. I don't know about that, but she does keep to herself. Maybe the mask makes it hard for her to open up to people. Why the heck does she wear it anyhow? It's something to do with her father. Not sure on the details. Who? Color me curious, but the real mystery is why she didn't laugh at my spoofs and goofs. Maybe because they're not funny? Say, we're doing field training tomorrow, ain't we, sir? How's about putting me on Fairy Air's team? I want to get to know her a little better. In that case, count me in. That okay with you, sir? Strengthening the bond between squad mates will help us work together during real missions. Well, you do have a point. I don't know. With these two on the job, It'll be fine. All right, and I don't see a problem with it. Okay. Let's not count our eggs before they chicken. First, we need to get her to take off that mask. Got a plan, Stan? Nope. Let's make like a stand-up comedian and improvise. Ha cha cha! <laughs> Let's begin the mission briefing. Ah! 
Lock and load. Taking position. Lock and load. That will be all. Now get out there and continue your training. <laughs> Let's dance, baby. Time to boogie woogie. Shake your dairy air, fairy air. It's fairy air. in order. Defensive formation. Brace for enemy attack. Here I go. Keep calm and move onward. Is that the enemy? Watch out for counterattack. Say there, Ferrier. Why do you wear that helmet in battle? <laughs> you some kind of knight in shining armor? from medieval times. Like hell, she'd be a million years old. Or dead. Then what is it? Everyone else here has a crazy backstory. <laughs> Take my spoofs and goofs, for example. The world's full of doom and gloom these days. I reckon folks could use a reason to smile. Out here, we could bite the bullet any second. Would you rather die with a whimper or a wink? And if laughter's the best medicine, Chuckle a day keeps the reaper away. I'm cracking wise to save lives. Oh. I had no idea. That's why I figure you must have a whale of a tail behind that mask. Come on, we're squad mates. I can keep a secret. You assume it has to do with what I want. I never take this mask off. Because I can't. <laughs> Guess the old saying's true. When I assume, I make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> Boom! Keep calm and move onward. Go on to you. Watch out for counterattack. Here I go. Doesn't that visor limit your field of vision in combat? It's fine. I'm used to it. Hmm? Gene, you dropped something. Oh, my photo! Ho oh, ho ho! Is that a picture of your hubby? Yeah. Uh, thanks for catching that, Ferrier. Of course. But I didn't know you were married. And that's because I never told you. Why not? I mean, you never asked. <laughs> never took the mean gene machine to be a blushing bride. Remember, Stanley, when I promised to kill you last? I lied. Come flab it, I was just pulling your leg. Sure, it was in poor taste, but I... I oh, oh my. I'd be happy to tell you about my husband, Ferrier. But in return, I'd like to know about your mask. Uh, maybe next time. They've got you in their sight! Stay frosty. Is that the enemy? Watch out! They're on to you! Please 
his work. As you wish. I'll do what I can. This is an order. Defensive formation. Brace for enemy attack. Understood. Don't stop! You've got to break through! I think I found them. Keep calm and move on. Watch out for counterattack. Keep calm and move onward. Dear fairy air, how about we kick back, crack open a cold one, and shoot the breeze? Sorry, but it's getting late. I'm heading back to my tent. Hey, Stanley. Jean. About you guys trying to help Ferrier open up. She just came by to file a complaint. She told me a couple of bullies won't leave her alone, but they keep bothering her about her mask. What in tarnation? Who are these jerkwads bothering my girl? You two, duh. Just go explain yourselves and apologize. 
So that's what this is all about. You were only trying to help. Sorry I misunderstood that. We're the ones who should be apologizing. Didn't mean to give you such a hard time. We're mighty sorry. But can't you at least give us a hint why you wear that iron mask? It's been nagging at me so much I can't sleep at night. Kinda like my ex-wife, but without all the snoring. <sighs> I was born out of wedlock. My features bear a striking resemblance to his mistress, my mother. If I were to be seen in public, my lord father's noble indiscretion would be as plain as the nose on my face. Thus, he covered up the evidence to save face. Literally. I've been ordered to wear a mask for the rest of my life. That selfish prick! Unbelievable! It's fine. Such is a bastard's fate. He didn't have to acknowledge me, let alone raise me. I have to be thankful for at least that much. You... you lucky bastard! Literally! Excuse me? Oh, the irony of it all! It's like rain on your birthday, or, or paying for a freebie! I wish I had a backstory like that! You have quite a... unique definition of irony. And no one's ever called me lucky before. <laughs> you really are a funny man, Stan. That's the Barclay way. But your life takes the cake. As a comedian, I'm downright jealous of you. And I envy you both. You're free to live your lives without hiding who you are. Perhaps I'd see the humor in it too. If I could see it all in this thing. Huh? Perrier, did you just make a joke? But seriously, I thought you accepted the mask as your fate. Unless you really do want to take it off. In which case, allow me. I appreciate it, but that's quite impossible. This mask has a lock on it, and my father holds the key. I can't even take it off to bathe. Let me show you the best tool for picking locks. Ah! My fists. Holy guacamole! That popped off like a champagne cork! How did you... So that's what you look like. I... Uh... You're gorgeous. <laughs> Why'd she run off? And why was she blushing? Beats me, mean Jean Machine. But it must have hurt when she fell from heaven. Cause she's an angel. Jean, I want you to know I didn't appreciate you removing my mask without my consent. But only the lock was broken. So I forgive you. Fortunately, I was able to put it back on. Why, dang it? You finally got rid of that bucket. Don't you want to live your life without hiding? Well, I've been wearing it for so long now. It's like armor. I feel naked without it. I can't just expose everything I am after years of hiding. I'm not prepared for that yet. So, I think I'll keep it on. A little longer. <sighs> Take the mask from the girl, but you can't take the girl from the mask. Or something like that. <laughs> well, it ain't our place to tell you what to wear. And besides, I'm tickled pink with how this shook out. Mission accomplished, I reckon. Our mission? You mean our goal to help Fairy A open up? In case you didn't notice, she went back to hiding her face. Don't matter how she looks, it's her heart we unmask. <laughs> she opened up to us a smidge, and that's good enough for me. 
Thanks for all the help I didn't want. Whoa! Hey, Ferrier. Don't go laughing just yet, because now it's time to sit down while I stand up with my latest comedy routine. Ooh, we're in for it now. I can't wait. Let's hear it, Stanley. Of course. So a guy walks into a bar and he says, Ouch! <laughs> I'm here all week. Tip your waitress. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. Hello, I'm Mabel Drake. I don't like wasting time, so can we wrap this up?